Hi folks, just doing a little more work on this project I had to eliminate the need for a uh, rechargeable battery for my 18 volt DeWalt electrical uh, power tools. This is what we did yesterday and as you can see I've made another extension of this thing, it's a regular plug. It came off a washing machine and uh, all the stuff I'm using here is like you know, you can go out and get it on trash day. Uh, this goes up to the battery, red being positive, black being negative. You come over here and you see an inline fuse. If you took that apart, you'd see a bus 20 or 30 amp fuse, whatever you prefer. It just comes on down the line to a normal uh, extension cord uh, female outlet. Okay, now what I've got here also is one of these retractable extension cords, and what I'm going to show you is how well this works. You can use one of these or any extension cord to get to the area you're working on from your car battery. Uh, it's better to use something that's got more voltage, preferably 18, but now we're using 12. I'm just going to show you. This is with the, the rig I fixed up today. Works fine. Stand by for a second. I'm going to go ahead and hook up the uh, other extension cord. Once again, I'm by myself, so give me a second. Okay, I hooked the other extension cord in. Pull the old trigger. Now, as you can see, it runs a little bit slower with the longer cord. And what happens is it's called resistance. So the longer the cord and the thinner the wire, the slower the uh, drill is going to run. It's just like putting a resistor in line. If you use a thicker extension cord, like a contractor's cord, you won't experience that problem. Okay, that's it for this segment.